my sound working now. And so we should be able to get Unity up here in a second. Aha! Or I figured out what was going on with Git Kraken and my Git Ignore, which was made here. I ended up somehow creating three directories called Bunny Kiss, one within the other. The Bunny Kiss directory has Bunny Kiss inside with Bunny Kiss, and my Git Ignore needed to be one level deeper. So now instead of 1,000 files to commit, I have 22. like it. <coughs> Let's just stage things and say empty unity project added and see what happens with unity webgl installing. So close. picture give me a space to start working in I know how to use Illustrator okay let's see if I have the newest version of unity going here Seems complicated. I don't want to do that. That sounds tedious. No. Okay, so how is Unity doing here? Hey, Unity. What are you doing? Bunny kiss. Yes, I know. Upgrade me. So we can 
can start thinking. I know. There we go. Illustrator can line things up really nicely these days. Let's just make this pretty big. Oh, well, before we do all that, let's add a number in there. to recreate here. This is for my demo board. There we go. But I don't need this over here. I should be able to make a simple board to start testing out the ideas with <clears throat> some numbers here. Let's see what we've got here. Suspecting so six one six two five one six is that five? Yes, and an empty. So this is my sample bunny gizmo board. OK. 
Okay. And so if somebody comes along with some pieces, do -do -do -do, usually, oh, let's just make a super simple bunny here. Start one up here and one down there. And so your goal in Bunny Kiss is to get these two on the same square. They can move to a square if that square has the number of unoccupied uh, spaces you need. So this one could go one, two, three, and bounce over there. This one can go one over to here. Is there anywhere it can get out? I can go back to the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It can jump over here. Here you can jump to. Where else can you go from here? Three, four, five. Oh, this should be a one. If I read that right, yes. That works. And you can bounce down here. Five all the way to here. You can bounce over there if you want. This one's kind of stuck, isn't it? Move one, two, three here. But it doesn't just randomly happen to get them together. So we'll have to study some puzzles, but that's the idea behind what we're trying to do here. We want things to bounce around and eventually get them to the same place. So this was just a random creation with domino sets. You never know what's going to happen. That's what we need to study a little bit to see if we can have them be randomly generated or if they're going to have to be constructed to be very carefully made so we can always win our money kiss challenge. Okay, so let's just remember that. Uh, we're going to put this in documents, GitHub, money kiss. We're just going to drop it out here. Sample. Sounds good. You know what would be better? Let's make another directory here. Just diagrams. Let's move that into there. Whoa. Close this down. Just clear the clipboard. So that's Illustrator for me. I still need to put 
put one more directory down, don't I? I don't know what I did here. But if I put it in there, then we'll actually get a file added. Hey, look at that. We are back in Unity. Wonderful. So, time to start thinking about objects. How can we sketch this game out quickly? I think we're going to need a nice empty game object. Looks like a fun game object. And that game object is going to have a script on it, which is going to generate a bunny kiss board. Take the game down to here. Just a nice size that'll fit them all up. Okay, so when we play it, play it down here. We'll be seeing our console spew out things over here. We don't want this kind of view. I just want one cone. That's going to be better. All right. Assets, create a folder called scripts, create a C sharp script, game maker. Thing. Let's fire up Visual Studio. So we're making some progress here. We got some assets. Oh, let's stage that one individually. Starting to go 
Get this file. I don't want that file. What is this VS stuff? Visual Studio. Oh, well, we have to edit our git ignore file then, don't we? Yep. Oh, let's go do that. Perfect. That will be much cleaner. Well, let's go ahead and do a push. Let's get things going here. Great. GitHub is happy. Cam. That's what's taking out my background. And it makes sure that leaves will fall behind my head. Or the world will be on fire. We can play with that here. Okay. Here we go. Visual Studio. So, what do we want to do? I need some new things. Those things are going to be on the screen. Let's go make a new I just want a square. I just want a simple square. Let's go find a simple square. Well, let's let's use Illustrator. Why not draw stuff ourselves? Start this here. Do, 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 do. Illustrator. Let's pin this to my taskbar. Oh, I like that. I should do that to Unity too. Pin to taskbar. There you are. Why not do that with everything? Yes. And then I don't have to go through the background stuff. And then I need to get and pin to desk bar. There we go. So they'll just be there. 
I'm learning how this computer works. This is nice. So, Illustrator, open, be challenged. Go Hendrix. This is where I teach. There's really cool things going on here. Do, do, do. Illustrator. We'll find some recent files. Well, let's make a new one. Why not? Square. Oh, what do we want to be in this square? I want there to be some grass. What color do we want this square to be? Let's make it a pale green. Oh, that's not a good green. Give it a nice edge color. Mm. What are we thinking? Brown? Yeah, let's give it a nice light brown. A couple. Okay. So, we're going to have some patches of grass. Well, we can resize it. We're going to be fine, but let's make another folder here. Folder, folder, folder. What can our folder be? Here we go. 
So check, we have a square. Let's make a simple bunny. We're going to bounce around. sure that whatever we do it eventually fits I'm just going to try to draw something and then we'll see what happens fit so let's resize our bunny some bunnies. 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 There we go. So if we wanted to, we could put it in the world. bunny on a square and that bunny is going to bounce around and we got a red bunny red bunny could show up on the square and there we go okay 
Ooh. Next thing I want to do, well, let's, before I make that game object, I want to be versioning as much as I can. Don't want it to be, yeah, two D object. Oh, wow, do I really want a text mesh pro? just want the essentials. I'm okay without the examples and everything. Okay. There we go. Let's put you underneath the space as well. And you are going to be called number. Or value. Nice. Well, if this is here, my space is. Let's just put everything at zero. And my grass should not be anywhere except where I am. for it. See, 
one is underway. Oh, wow. That is like a drop shadow. Right. Down there. I like text match bro. Good. One, two, three, four, six. They will all fit. Three. Sounds good. So you're right in the middle of where you need to be. That looks like a good prefab. Okay. So when we say assets, create a new folder. For our prefabs, and let's go make a prefab of space. There we go. Great. This is so we can programmatically talk to it and then create new ones and just say, "Okay, here's your text. Here's your numbers. Here's your location on the screen." And we can just fill up a screen based on whatever we want, a script, a file. So our challenge is going to have a lot of spaces put into it, and then we will have bunnies on it, and we will bounce them around and see what happens. Okay. That's going to be our first task. I'm going to break for lunch, and then I'll be back.